Seven. Ready, Ipe? Seven, six. Ipe? Yes. Okay, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good day. This is Dr. John Bennett broadcasting from Miami Beach. Today we have another episode of the Neurosurgery Super Sunday, uh, and we have the pleasure of having Ipe Charian once again from uh, Bharat Nagar, Nepal. Uh, and first, we have a record number of panelists. Uh, let's quickly go through them. P just please say your name and, and where you work, okay? Uh, because networking is one of the most positive parts of this platform. Uh, so let's start with you, uh, Kassan. Can you please introduce yourself to us and Ipe? Hi, everyone. I'm Hassan. I'm a student from Russia, a fifth year student. Oh, great. Welcome. Hi. Hi, Kassan. Arthur. Hi. Arthur, could you please unmute yourself and introduce yourself, please? Arthur, can you hear me okay? Oh, Sue, Sue Mayat, Sue, Sue Mo, as they say. Yeah. Hey. Hi, everyone. I am Sumya Mo from Satya, from Yama, Satya, New Sanjika resident. Okay, welcome. Uh, Arthur, once again, could you unmute, please? Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Arthur. Uh, I am from Russia, in Tumin. I am a resident at the uh, oh, very, uh, very good. Very good. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, and the next person, I can't pronounce that acrylic spelling. Parm? Parm? I don't know. Okay, maybe we'll just go on. Uh, Oleg, hello, Oleg. Unmute yourself, Oleg. Unmute yourself. Okay, go ahead, Oleg. I'm fifth year medical student from Moscow. Oh, welcome, welcome. Okay, great. We've got some oh, Moscow. I'm very glad to be there. Okay, Thank welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, the next people, uh, Apram, could you please introduce yourself? And M. <laughs> Well, go ahead, go ahead. I don't know, maybe this is getting too unwieldy. I'm introducing everyone. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. Uh, I tell you what, I uh, why don't we start and then we'll introduce them later, okay? Because we have a yeah, lot, yeah. Of, lot of people. Okay, Ipe, it's all okay. yours. Okay. So, guys, uh, as always, it's a pleasure to be discussing things with you. Now, today I'm going to talk about something which uh, forms the most important uh, uh, part of any skull-based surgery. Um, in fact, the most important part of uh, neurosurgery. So, uh, most of the average neurosurgeons don't deal with this structure. I'm telling you, if you want to be an average neurosurgeon, you can get away without really dealing with the carotid. Okay, you can do your uh, extradurals or your subdurals or your meningiomas and your lumbar discs and you can get away from the carotid. Okay, you can stay away from the carotid. But believe me, if you want to be a cutting edge guy, cutting edge neurosurgeon, you cannot avoid the carotid. There is no way you can avoid it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how the carotid looks like in a lateral skull base dissection first you're going to be blown at how it looks because it looks pretty complicated. That's how the carotid will look. And imagine if you see that in a case, if you cannot imagine how that is in a case, if you don't know how the carotid looks like or how the carotid goes, then you are in total soup when you are doing skull-based surgery. So let's start off right now. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, let me see how I can share my screen. Yeah, I'm sharing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sharing? Yes, yes, yes. You can see? You're, well, uh, let me see here. Right. Yeah, I can see it. Double click to edit. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Do you, do you see this, everybody? Yeah. Yes, we see it. I see it. It doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, it is a tangle of vessels and nerves. Okay? It is a complete tangle of vessels and nerves. 
So what, uh, what is the carotid here? Does anybody know? Does anybody, can anybody figure out where is the carotid here? Okay, you can interact everyone, you can talk. Yeah, people can talk, please. It's left lower angle. Beg your pardon? Left lower angle there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is the big red vessel there, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the beginning is there. All right, so I'm going to show you a very simple scheme of carotid. So the simple scheme of carotid, take your notebooks, guys. Take your notebooks, okay? Write down C, C2, forget C1, C2, C4, and C6. We're going to name it. C2, C4, C6, all of them are horizontal, horizontal carotids. C7, C5, C3, odd numbers, they're vertical. Do you get it? Yes or no? Everybody? Are you okay. getting me? Yes or no? Come on, guys. Tell me. Okay, come on. Everyone, wake up. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. We, we yes. get you. Yeah. You with me? Yeah, we're yeah. writing down. So, so, I'm going to tell you again. C7 is where the carotid enters the skull. Yes. And C2 is the segment where the carotid is intradural. So, the carotid enters the skull, goes through various bones, goes through cavernous sinus and then goes intradural where there is where it is no more skull base again it is no more skull base it is uh, in the it's in the it's in the brain cavity it's in the intradural cavity so c7 vertical or horizontal c7 vertical 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 right then c6 c6 Vertical or horizontal? Horizontal. horizontal. Right? C5. C5 vertical. vertical. Yeah. C3. Vertical. C3, vertical. See, it's very easy. All the odd numbers are ah, vertical. vertical. Yeah. All the even numbers are horizontal. Do you understand or not? Yes. Understand. Yes? Yeah. Yes or no? Y yes. Yes. Now you yes. Must understand. I am trying to build a very, very complex structure from a very simple concept. Okay. So you guys trust me all the time. You be with me all the time. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you see seven segments? All odd but, segments. But uh, we don't see. All we don't see. Uh, your... You don't okay. see. Okay. Yes, yes. No, no, yes. No, yes. Okay. Right. So seven Sorry. segments. All odd segments are vertical. So C7 is where the carotid enters the skull. That's vertical. C5 is vertical. C3 is vertical. Now, the second statement I am going to make is that the carotid is related to all the cranial nerves, 2 to 12. I will show you how. Directly or indirectly. It is related to all the cranial nerves, okay, in the skull base. You know, this is the structure which causes maximum problems for you if you don't know about it. Because when you are drilling, you don't know where is the carotid, which segment of the carotid are you encountering, you don't know. And to become a skull base surgeon, you have to drill over the carotid. Whether it is Peter's carotid, whether it is a carotid at uh, C5, C3, you have to drill over these carotids, millimeter precisely. And if you don't know the anatomy of this, you are in a lot of trouble. Okay? Now let's start. This is the first picture that you saw. 
it's a mess now i'm going to start again okay that okay. is where the carotid, that is where the carotid enters the skull okay into the petrous bone all right that is c7 that is intrapetrous carotid right that is c6 okay, okay. that is a petrolingual ligament that is clival carotid paraclival carotid okay c5 vertical again that is the intracavernous part the horizontal part okay that is c4 horizontal c3 vertical and as i said c2 i don't have a mouse you know Again, C7, C6, petrolingual ligament, that is a C5 segment, C4, C3, and C2 up there. Okay? Yes. So now, cranial nerves. Third cranial nerve. Fourth cranial nerve. V1. All of these three, four V1 going into superior orbital fissure <coughs> v2 going into foramen foramen rotundum v3 going into foramen ovale gspn eustachian tube cochlea clivus posterior clinoid process anterior clinoid process that's it that is the relation of skull base carotid to skull base <clears throat> so we have starting from posteriorly let us look at this picture again okay <coughs> the pity that i don't have my mouse working in this okay the pity that i don't have my mouse working but let me let me just put this here and now let me use my mouse okay uh, let me maximize this okay can you see everybody yes this what segment is this it's a vertical segment right what um, segment is this huh C3. i told you this is the third now this is the yeah. fourth now no c2 is this one yeah. c2 is here okay that is what yeah. that is horizontal c2 is horizontal okay c3 okay. vertical Particle. okay c3 is vertical c4 is this segment c4 is this segment <coughs> it is horizontal c5 okay. is paraclival c5 is paraclival that is vertical again <coughs> c6 is the petrous carotid it's horizontal okay and c7 is down here it, it comes like this it's not shown here but this is c7 so we have all the segments c7 which enters c6 intrapetrous c5 paraclival c4 which is horizontal uh, cavernous c3 vertical cavernous and c2 intradural you know when it becomes intradural it goes into something called the proximal dural ring okay this is the proximal dural ring <coughs> and this is the first branch that is ophthalmic artery so which which cranial nerve is that <coughs> which cranial nerve is that the optic nerve that's right that's the third nerve that's the fourth nerve that is the v1 Please. that is a v2 that is a v3 that is the gspn that is a facial nerve there and that's a gspn on the carotid right and you can even mm. see medial to the medial to the v1 you can see the dorolos canal there and you can see the sixth nerve coming coming in from the dorolos canal medial to v1 and that sixth nerve is just parallel just parallel to v1 and just abuts the carotid that is the c5 carotid 
right? Mm -hmm. So, again, I'm going to ask uh, you a question <coughs> now. Please, please, I have a question. Okay, I think someone has a question. One second, I'll, I'll present, I'll finish my presentation, then, then I can ask you, then I can uh, let you ask questions. Now, okay. let me start again, okay? Okay. So, what is this segment? This is C7, right? Vertical. That is, C7 is? Which segment? That is where the carotid enters the skull, right? The parapharyngeal segment. Part of it is inside the petrus. Then you have the C6 segment. Horizontal, intrapetrous segment. Then you have C5, paraclival segment. You can see the clivus here. And on top of the clivus on the side, you can see the posterior clinoid process, right? Then you have C4, horizontal segment. Okay. Then you have C3. This is the paracellar or the paraclinoidal segment. Okay. And then you have C2, which is intradural. You have Cranial nerve 3, cranial nerve 4, V1, V2, V3, GSPN, and parallel to the C6 segment, you have eustachian tube, and then you have the cochlea here. The C7 segment actually enters anterior to the cochlea. Right. Okay? Yes or no? Understanding? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Interesting? Of course. Well, yes. Of course. Right. Now I'm going to show you some pictures. Okay. Now you're going to tell me what part of carotid is it? What is this vertical part where this is the proximal dural ring and this is the distal dural ring? What is this part? What is this? C3. Correct. You are right. C3. What is this horizontal part? Yeah, what is this horizontal part? C2? Yes, absolutely. C2. And you can yes. see another horizontal part here with the GSPN going over it. What is that horizontal part? C7? C6. 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 You must, the rule, the C6. rule you must remember is... Anka, anka Everything horizontal is odd, is even number. Everything horizontal is C2 is even, C4 is even, and C6 is even, and they are all horizontal. You remember that? Okay. Okay. Right. Very, very easy. Okay. Now, now I'm going to ask you some more questions. Oh, right. Now, that is a Clinoid process, that's anterior clinoid not removed here. This was this was C3 segment, this is C2 segment. What is this segment? C4. Yes, C4. And what is C4. this segment? What is this C5? segment? Yes, C5. excellent. C5. Excellent. What is this? What is C5. this now? Six now. Third cranial now. Excellent. Oh. What is this now? Four. That's four now. Yes. So, what is this ganglion called? Gasserian ganglion. Yes. And what is what is this? What is this now? V one. What is this now? Uh, v two. Five. V two. V two. What is this foramen medial, uh, medial to posterior and medial to the uh, C five second? No, no, no. Dorellos canal. Dorellos canal, that's right. And that's the sixth nerve coming in. All right? Dorellos canal. Yes? Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, let, let us now go into something more complicated. All right? Okay. Let us now go into something more complicated. Much more complicated. Now, this is the third nerve. This is the fourth nerve. This is V1. We are exposing a segment. That is a vertical segment. Okay, I'm, this is upside down. 
So the frontal lobe is here. The temporal lobe should have been here. The temporal lobe is dissected off. Now you are seeing the gazerin ganglion here. V1 here. This is the Parkinson's triangle. And this is the meningohypophyseal trunk. What is this segment of carotid artery? Huh? What is this segment? It's this C5 is horizontal. Maybe? Yes, that is oh, C5. Nice. That is C5. Excellent. That is C5. Okay. That is C5. And on the top of the C5, the meningohypophyseal trunk. Okay, that is a meningohypophyseal trunk. Okay. That's a meningeal branch goes and becomes the artery of Bernasconi and Casinari. And this this turns turns into become the, the hypophyseal trunk. Okay. All right. Let us again look into something. Now, can you see? Can you see this is upside down again? This is upside down again. So that is the tentorium. All the all the nerves has been removed here. So what is this horizon? This is the Peter's bond. This is the Peter's bond. Okay. This is where the anterior clinoid okay. would have been. This would have this is where the anterior clinoid would have been. Okay. This is horizontal okay. intra intradural. What is that? What is that? Horizontal intradural. What is that? C2? C2. C2, excellent. C2. C2. What is this? Yeah. Vertical? C3. Yes. Horizontal. Oh. What is this? C4. C4. Excellent. Very good. And what is parallel? What is parallel to this? What is parallel? Vertical. C5. Vertical parallel. C5. Huh? C5. C5. And And what is running in the petrus there? Horizontal? C C6. Yes, very good. Now, let us look at it from the front. Okay? From the front. You know, okay. Most of the time. From the front. Like how the endoscopic surgeons will look at it. Okay? Now, I am looking at it from the front. So, <laughs> I, have optic, I have optic nerves here. See the optic nerves? Can you see? Optic nerves here? Yes? Yes? Yes. Yes. That is the pituitary gland. Yes? Yes. Yeah. That sinus. is the cavernous sinus. You can see the cavernous sinus there. The blue cavernous yes. sinus. Laterally. That is the internal intercavernous sinus. That is the optic nerve. And so I am going yes. to show you vertical carotids. That is vertical carotid. What segment? What segment? Anybody? C3. C5. C3. C3. All right. That is C3. C3. And C3. Yes. C3. That is clivus. That is the clivus. All right. That is the clivus there. And paraclival. What is that? C5. C5. That's right. That's right. And you can see a bit of horizontal carotid there. What is that? C4. C4. You are right. Absolutely. C4. C4. So you have C3, C4, C5. Okay. And then you, you will have a segment like that, like that. That is C6. And then you have C7. Okay. Let me show you that. All right. Down. All right. I am showing you a video. Okay. That is the yes. optic nerves. How do I? Uh, these are the optic nerves. What segment is this? What segment is this? Vertical? Optic nerves. C3. No, this is the optic nerve. This the optic nerves. What is this? What segment is this? C3. C3. Can you see the horizontal segment going backwards underneath the optic nerve into the dura? That is C2. This is C3. What is this horizontal segment? C4. C4. That's right. 
that is the clivus which I have removed. That is the clivus which I have removed. And after removing the clivus, you can see the basilar artery there. You can see the basilar artery there. And this is paraclival segment, or is vertical again. What is that? C5. C5, that's right. And then C6 is starting here. We have done the, we have done the Peters drilling here. So that C6 is going to show. I'll show you. That is where the anterior clinoid would have been. And that is... That is where the horizontal carotid is going intradurally. This is C3, C4, C5. C6 is going horizontally there, horizontally there, all the way there down. Okay, there. And you see the parapharyngeal carotid. Okay, that is a parapharyngeal carotid. Okay, C7. All right. And that is the jugular foramen. It is looking through yeah. the nose. That is jugular foramen. Okay. Yes. Yes. Understood. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Yes. Yes. So very good. So I'm going back to this again. Okay. So this is which segment is that? C two. C two. What segment is that? C three. C three vertical. What segment is that horizontal? C4. C4. What segment is that? Paraclival. Vertical? C5. C5. Paraclival. Okay. What is this structure? Uh, clinoid process. Posterior. Posterior clinoid process. Posterior clinoid. This is anterior clinoid. That is why this is called a paraclinoidal segment. C3 is called a paraclinoidal because this is anterior clinoid process. Okay. This is posterior clinoid process. Now, this is C5. This is what segment is that intrapetrus? C6. C6, that's right. Okay. And what segment is that? Parapharyngeal, just now we saw it is lateral to the jugular foramen. What segment is that? C7. C7, that's right. C7 ascends anterior to what structure? Uh, cochlea. Cochlea, that's right. Very good. And what is that tube which you connects the mastoid with the, the I mean, the middle ear with the pharynx? Eustachian tube. That is the eustachian tube parallel to C7, C, C7. I mean, parallel to the C6 carotid. Okay. What is that nerve which runs GSPN. above the C2 GSPN. segment? GSPN. GSPN, that's right. What is that yeah. ganglion? Gasirian ganglion. ganglion. What is that? B1. What is this? B2. Uh, what is this? B3. Okay, now I'm going to show you yes. a video. Okay, yeah. I'm going to show you a video. All right? Yes. Have you, have you got a good understanding of carotid now? Yeah. Thank you very much. Right. That's great. Yeah, so now I'm going to show you a video. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Can you see? Yes. Can you hold? Yes. So, this is frontal lobe. This is temporal lobe. And so that is V2. Okay? okay. V2, the, the transcavernous membrane is exposed. That is V3. Okay? Temporal lobe is being pulled <coughs> above the V3. That is a gasserine ganglion. V1, V2, V3. That is a gasserine ganglion. This is the GSPN. So what carotid runs through here? What part of 
which segment runs through here if i drill below this gsp and what segment of carotid will i get c6 yes absolutely c6 c6, yeah. c6. and you have cochlea here okay you have the cochlea yeah. here and anterior to the cochlea the c6 will dip downwards and what segment is that the downwards c5 is go downwards vertical becomes vertical the c6 will become vertical go downwards what c7. segment is that c7 c7 that's right c7 okay and now okay i'm going to confuse you so this is v1 this is the fourth cranial nerve this is this is optic nerve this is the intradural i have opened the dura here this is intradural carotid okay intradural what is that horizontal intradural horizontal intradural what segment c2 c2 that's right c2 and it's a vertical extradural carotid what is that after the clinoid is taken out vertical extradural c3 c3, c3. c3. that's right c3. c3 all right now i'm happy that you are understanding a very very complex concept okay most skull base most neurosurgeons don't understand okay forget ah okay let us see now okay so you see that is i mean that is v1 that is v2 this is the this is the the temporal lobe it's been dissected frontal lobe i standing this is gasserian ganglion this is v2 this is v1 fourth nerve is here yeah yes we get yes yes yeah. or no are you able to understand yeah. Yeah. yes now i am going to show you okay right um uh, well this is an abm abf which was uh, supplied by the meningo hypophyseal branch of the carotid so i'm going to show you how we expose the meningo hypophyseal branch meningo hypophyseal branch comes from which segment c3 c3 c no c5 c5, c5. 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 okay <laughs> v1 fourth nerve third nerve c4 can you see that yeah it's been so see v1 v1 v2 okay this is the third yeah. now this is a fourth now and c4 is here c5 is here can you see and this is the meningo hypophyseal branch which is going backwards can you see that yes or no yeah yeah yes. very clear i am yeah. going to show you this in surgery i am going to show you this in surgery it's intracavernous surgery okay it's a cavernous sinus surgery so v1 v2 and we are going to see between the fourth nerve and the v1 we're going to see the carotid here can you see that yes that's the carotid which segment c4 c4 c5 okay c5. and that is the meningo hypophyseal trunk large meningo hypophyseal trunk yeah. can you see the meningo hypophyseal trunk large one Yes. exactly like what he, what is being shown here so third now fourth now v1 c4 c5 and meningo hypophyseal trunk clear yes. clear yeah yes yeah. or no yes. yes so this is vertical paraclival and this is horizontal intracavernous okay <laughs> now see how in the surgery we are going to clip this off same thing v1 fourth nerve that is c5 c4 
and I'm clipping off the meningohypophyseal branch. If I don't know where I'm clipping off, then I have a big problem because this is cavernous, carotid, lot of bleeding. And if I try to bipolar or if I try to do something, that is a cavernous clearly seen. That is a V1. That, that, is, that, is, a, uh, that is a V1. Okay, now let us stop this video and let's come back to our presentation. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing now. Right, so you guys have a good idea on what is the carotid like now? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. yes. Everybody? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to ask you questions. Okay, tell me, if from endoscopic anatomy, you're going to look, you're going to first see which segment? C3. C3. That C3. is your paraclinoidal segment. Okay. Yeah. That is your paraclinoidal segment. And your cella is between your C3s. All right? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Below that and next posterior to that, another segment, two segments, paraclival. What is that? C5. 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 Right. You're all endoscopic. You're very good with endoscopy. And now, again, segments laterally, parapharyngeal segment. C7. 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 All right. So the endoscopy guy is going to see only the vert vertical segment. Because horizontal segments going towards them. They are coming towards you. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. Only in lateral position, you can see the horizontal segments. But in vertical, when you are looking, when you are looking through, you to see C3, all the paraclinoidal segment, then C5, yeah. level segment, and 7 which is para one step, first step, second step, third step. Okay. You understand? Yes, thank you. Yes. 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 You yes. turn it post you turn it laterally, then you will see C3 like that, C4 like that, okay, C5 mm -hmm. like that, C6 Petrus, and C7 mm -hmm. parapharyngeal. Yeah. All right? Five. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Your entire skull base feels built around carotid. Your entire skull base surgery is built around carotid. Okay. So, yeah. it's complicated. So, read up about the carotid. And the next Super Sunday, we will have a discussion on the carotid. Okay. Yeah. If you understand this much as young neurosurgeons, it is something, it is really great because it is half of your skull base. Half of your skull base, believe me. I mean, you people spend five years studying skull base and uh, studying carotid in bits and pieces. Okay, what I have given you now is half, half of your skull base. Wherever you go to do your fellowships, half of your skull base is the carotid. All right. Now go okay. and read up textbooks about how the cranial nerve. Sec 2 is related to carotid. How cranial nerve 3, 4, V1 is related to carotid. How cranial nerve 6 is related to carotid. How cranial nerve 7 and 8 is related to carotid. How is related to carotid. Just finish 7th now. How jugular foramen is related to foramen. Just C7. Okay. So, nerve is related to carotid. Okay. So, go read up that and then we can talk again by the next uh, super one more discussion you will be masters the, the carrot which is actually one cult uh, thing space surgeon okay okay please i i want to know um about uh, uh, uh trigeminal uh, conflict trigeminal conflict uh, with uh, with with uh, uh, with, with, with uh, vessel and the when you uh, you uh, you you use the decompressive uh, neurovascular 
uh, about uh, lateral approach with endoscopy. The, the branch of carotid will use uh, will you see will uh, you will uh, we will see um, C C five. Do you understand uh, the question? I know. Yeah, I mean, I understood, but I think he's. Uh, you are talking about trigeminal neuralgia. Yes. Well, that is a completely intradural problem, and that is caused oh. by a completely different uh, uh, set of vessels than the carotid. You don't have the carotid causing trigeminal neuralgia, because the trigeminal neuralgia is caused. Retrogazerian, you know, which means that the nerve okay. you saw okay. V1, V2, V3, and then you have gazerian ganglion, and then you have the behind that you have the nerve coming okay. from the lateral pontine region. And in the lateral pontine region, the carotid, uh, the this fifth nerve, it can be in contact with ICA or a vein or the superior cerebellar artery or sometimes even the basilar artery. Yes. This yes. is where you can yes. have trigeminal neuralgia. It is not in the skull base. Yes. Okay. Understood. Understood. Okay. I okay. just conf <laughs> confused. Okay. Thank you. No problem. No problem. We all confused. Good to ask the question. <laughs> so, guys, that's about so I uh, carry on is make next Super Sunday discussion on the want a discussion. <laughs> right then. See Thank you then. You, sir. It was a wonderful presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Yeah. Very wonderful. Very wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I will get used to this technology, the interaction. Uh, this is one of the benefits of this platform, interaction. You're not just lecturing, you're interacting with them. And we'll get better with this technology of unmuting, muting. Uh, it's new. So do you, you want questions from the audience? I... Yeah. Hello. I mean, if there's any comments or questions, welcome. Yeah, okay, everyone. Every comments or questions, please. Just unmute yourself and mute yourself after you're done. It was so great to ask any questions. Everything's good. Um, me, I have a question about the uh, Dorelo Canal. Dorelo Canal? Yes. Dorelo Canal, uh, can you uh, show just um, in summary? Um, how can can we fix this <laughs> canal uh, in our practice? Uh, when you do a petrosal approach, yes. When uh, when you expose the apex at the petrous apex, if when you expose the C five carotid, you will see V one. And then below the petrous apex, you will see the sixth nerve coming in medial to V1. And that part of the petrous apex, where you know the, the petrous apex is like that, and you have the Gruber's ligament on top of that, and that part is called the Dorolos canal. Yes. I can show dissections next time. Next time, I will show you the dissections okay. and I'll show you how to expose both in live patients. In petroclival meningiomas, as well as in dissections of, uh, you know, I am in uh, Thailand uh, in uh, December, and I, I hope we are going to, um, we are going to televise it, televise this uh, Thailand meeting. So I can show you that, and plus I can show you the 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 videos of the Russian dissection that we did last month in Tumen uh, in October. So I can show you the videos, and I will show you where the Dorelos canal is. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Um, Thank you. Thank you very much. We have a lot of people here to introduce. Uh, and I guess while we're introducing, we'll think of more questions. Okay, one of the benefits of this platform is networking. I'd like to meet everybody here. We've met, uh, let's see, Arthur, Sue. Uh, Duong, could you please introduce yourself? 
Duong, uh, could you unmute and introduce yourself? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sorry, I... Go ahead. Could you please introduce yourself? Duong, hmm? where are you from? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Kian. I'm a Vietnamese student. Um, I'm very interested in this uh, platform to sharing the experience of, from other countries, especially in the developing country. I think it's very useful for the, uh, not only for the um, neurosurgeon, especially for the junior doctor. Thank you, John. Thank you, Eva. Yes, Duong. Uh, <coughs> Dr. Banko from Morocco, could you please introduce yourself? Okay, thank you, Mr. John. Me, I'm Nordin uh, Bankol. I'm come from Benin, but I'm in training here in Morocco. In my second year of training uh, about uh, scholarship uh, uh, of young uh, African neurosurgeon. So, thank you very much. Uh, Welcome, Mr. Welcome. of your great presentation and wonderful as. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, welcome, Dr. Benko. You're welcome. Kassan, could you please introduce yourself? Kassan. Hi, everyone. I'm a student from Russia, a fifth year student. Oh, they, I, I guess we already I was, introduced you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> Hello, Welcome. Abdul. How are you? Could you please unmute yourself and introduce David. yourself? Abdul? <laughs> Abdul? David doesn't know. You're, you're still, you're still yeah. here. Go ahead, Abdul. Go ahead, Hello, Abdul. Yeah. Hello? Yes, we can hear Hello. you. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my name is I'm from Abdul. Abdul. Yes. I'm working in Ecuador. Three? I have just arrived. No? Sorry for my. Very good. Uh, Nasser Azoze, uh, please introduce yourself. Hello. Hello. Look at that. He's, he's, he's in the panel from the car. <laughs> That's great. That's great. That's great. Welcome. Welcome. I, I hope you can operate from the car too. If it's carotid, it'll be difficult. <laughs> Akman, could you please introduce yourself? Akman, are you there? Mm, perhaps not. Med Medina. Oh yeah. Oh, go ahead, Ahmad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, hi, my name is Ahmad. I'm neurosurgery resident from Indonesia. But yeah, I study in China. You're currently in Nanking, China, correct? Yeah. Well, welcome. Nanjing? Uh, welcome. Yeah, Nanjing. Is China. it yes. yes, Is it Nanjing? Yes, China. Yes. yes. Well, Nanjing is a place I've been to probably more than 10 times. I have uh, led skull based workshops there. And, uh, well, I've done many lectures and I've, I've traveled around Nanjing a lot, uh, quite a lot. So uh, it's, it's, uh, it's one of the best cities in China and I'm very happy. Which hospital are you in? In uh, Jiangsu Province Hospital. I know, Jiangsu. Nanjing is in Jiangsu Province. Yeah, yeah, Jiangsu Province. Uh, okay. People Hospital. Thank you. Right, right. It's a small okay. neurosurgical world. Uh, Rakesh, could you please introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Rakesh, uh, a neurosurgery resident from Kolkata, India. Uh, I've been a part of oh. Neurosurgical TV for a long time. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Aip and Dr. John. Thank and you. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Rakesh. Uh, Dasha Romano Romanofa? Roman Romanofa? Dasha, can you hear me okay? I'll, I'll try to unmute you. Dasha, could you please introduce yourself? No. We'll get better at this. Marina, are you there? Marina and Mohammed Helmi. Okay, he's from Egypt. He can't introduce himself. He does not have a microphone. Is there anyone else we haven't met that would like to introduce themselves to the panel and I? Anyone else we haven't talked to? Uh, yeah, there's a little problem with muting IPE, as you know, and background noise and stuff. Panelists will get used to manipulating the mute button. But uh, no, what I what I what I think is, if you guys can uh, make sure that uh, you know 
next time when we come for the anterolateral skull base. Hello, can you hear yeah. me? Yes. Yes, we hear you. Yes. Yes. So next time we come up for the anterolateral skull base meeting, the next Super Sunday, what we will do is we will discuss straight about the carotid. You can ask me all the questions that you have. Hello. Yes. Hello. Okay. Yeah. So we'll ask about all the questions that we have, and then uh, we go ahead and discuss once more about the carotid. So that will make things very clearer for you. And I hope next time again the same guys are there so that I don't have to do the, the talk again and again. Okay. Thank you. That's very good. <laughs> thank very you very good. Much. Thank you very much. Very thank good. You. Well, okay, Ipe, I'd like to thank you formally and we'll end this the co recording and then we'll, we'll just sit around and chat. Okay. Thank you very yeah. much, everyone, and thank you, Ipe.